morning and welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're actually in um, St Nicholas at Wade, which isn't too far from from Herne Bay, and I saw this lovely little village. As they say about that, there's a lie, but uh, yeah, there's a lovely little village which I uh, happened upon. So a beautiful church and a lovely little building. That little um, little cottage there. A little antique shop just in front. Isn't that beautiful. Look at that. That's delightful. Multi with a piggly roof. Actually, really old. That lovely stained glass window. Not lovely. Anyway, that's the church that uh, we came upon. The size of that spire is huge. It's set in the countryside anyway. Let's uh, take a look. I know I've been here before, but I don't think I got here last time. But it's St Nicholas at Wade. There's the church. It's beautiful. Uh, porch way here. Lovely churchyard. Massive view tree. Just with John. Let's take a look and see if it's open. Look at that door, that's glorious. Delightful, look at that. Beautiful. I'm trying to be fairly quiet because there's people in here. Lovely stained glass windows. I wish you could uh, see the colours that you probably won't be able to make them out just purely because of the uh, the camera, it kind of um, just fades all the colorations. I don't know why. It's a beautiful window, a lovely wood screen there. As you can see, it's the uh. Such a beautiful main aisle. It's like a lovely uh, oak roof. With a huge stained glass window. Again, the colours are glorious, but uh, they may be washed out of this camera. Got some beautiful old interments there. There, can make that out. It's a beautifully carved stone. Can't quite see a year from here, but uh, it's beautiful. <coughs> and again, um, this side here, got a lovely, beautifully carved, got a shield and a, a knight's helmet there by the looks of it. And we're going back to about 1701, I think it is. But again, it's a glorious stone, well preserved, but it's a lovely area. Beautiful church. So these pews are delightful as well. There's some people up there, so I'm trying to be a bit conscious of that. Look at that lovely chandelier there. Still with candles. That's glorious. So we move around to this side of the church. I think I've been here before, I'm pretty sure I have. I'm not sure I filmed. And again, this is the uh, ladies' chapel. How beautiful is that? Isn't that delightful? Same small kind of altar, if you like. Very plain glass. Look at that. Isn't that glorious, this uh, interment here? Let's have a look what it says. Oh, 1735. Underneath lies the body of Sarah and Mary, daughters of Edward and 
Elizabeth Bridges, Sarah died March the 4th, 1726, aged two years old, bless her, and ten months. Mary died December the 30th, 1735, aged 15 years. Wow, isn't that a shame? But it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, interment, Stanley, if you like, so. More of the family obviously were interred here as well as they passed away. But look at that. That's really divine, isn't it? I say, lovely device there. Really old and uh, authentic, as you can see. That lovely. And it's still standing out all these years. Right, this is after a brass night. It was on one of the interments, dated 1380. Um, it's just a, a rubbing of the the brass itself, which I assume is in the church somewhere. And again, some some old rubbings of uh, brasses from the interment stones. It's such a lovely feel, this church. It really is it's delightful. Back out into the aisle. They've got a little coffee shop at the back and uh, where people can gather. But I just want to show you a quick look around of this and say some beautiful stained glass windows, high level up there, just here. It just sheds light right into the main aisle. That's glorious. That lovely. Beautiful pulpit there. All carved. That's delightful. So the sconces around the arches, extremely well carved. Oh, lovely. Oh, we've got an old stone here again. We've got a shield and a, a knight's. I think that's 1750, aged 55 years. Edward Hennis. These beautiful uh, flagstones here. We had all the uh, the pews redone and uh, nice cushions there for the parishioners. And that's a view from this side of the church again. Beautiful windows, just shedding light. Very high building anyway. They're delightful, aren't they? We'll have a quick look at those old steps there. Quite authentic. the vicars of this church go back to 1294. Yeah, kindly uh, a chap spoke to me just a minute ago and he said this was the priest hole originally and the, uh, there's been a church on this site for at least a thousand years. This one goes back uh, to around about the 1200s I believe so not lovely anyway. Look, and, uh, we'll have a quick look at the back of the church. Look at this um, archway here. That's obviously where maybe the bells would have been centuries ago, but that is glorious. Look, I don't think I can make that out. There's a figure there, and part of the arch has been, well, it's gone basically, as you can see. That's delightful. Look. Another altar kind of at the back here of Christ on the cross. Beautiful, beautiful font. And again, a couple of candelabras at the rear. And that lovely archway. And again, you can see it's broken away there, the arch. It's uh, obviously been changed over the centuries. But it did say it's gone under some renovations and they keep finding old bits. The screen that we showed you down the bottom there, it's actually medieval, it got uncovered. Um, as I say, so still finding bits here from centuries back. Oh wow, look at those uh, interments there. I've just noticed those going right across the back end of the church there. So, as I hope you enjoyed that. I'm not sure if I've uh, actually got in here before, but it's uh, lovely to get around again. 
had a feel for it and I was saying let's have a quick look at this door. Which just gives some idea of the age. But lovely. Hello there. Okay, that was just a quick look around of uh, this beautiful church, St Nicholas in Wade. So I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did and uh, again I hope you enjoy me, or join me even on the, uh, the next ones. I'm trying to get more videos in but I'm, I'm really interested in actually looking at these little old um, Kentish villages and, that, and uh, churches etc. So I hope that's something I'll do more of going forward but I hope you enjoyed this one anyway and uh, I do look forward to seeing you on the next one and I wish you a beautiful day. See you again. Goodbye.